paradigm shift in biological sciences. It is no more qualitative. It is now quantitative. Biostatistics, bioinformatics have become integral part of biology now because of the change in the approach of biological scientists. In this video, I'll give a brief history of biostatistics. Biostatistics is nothing but the application of the concepts and principles of statistics in biology. It is essentially statistics, but only thing is that we are using only the examples from biological sciences and we actually use the principles and concepts of statistics for analyzing the biological data for prediction and interpretation. The early foundation of statistics was laid in the 17th century by John Grant and William Petty. The development of concepts and principles was done in the 19th century by the contributions of Carl Pearson, Ronald Fisher and Francis Galton. The main contributions of Carl Pearson are kurtosis and chi-square test. Correlation and regression was studied by Francis Galton. ANOVA, that is analysis of variance and experimental studies were done by Ronald Fisher. Ronald Fisher also is the person who criticized the work of Mendel. Indian statistician Prashant Chandra Mahalanobis also contributed significantly to statistics, especially in the area of standard deviation. In 18th and 19th century, several biologists used statistics in the analysis of biological information. The noted scientists who used statistics significantly are Gregor Mendel, J.B.S. Harden and Wallis. Mendel used statistics for the formulation of the principles and laws of heredity. J.B.S. Haldane and Wallis used it for the evolutionary studies. In the 20th and 21st century, statistics has become an integral part of biology and there is no single paper published without statistical analysis. Statistics actually will help us in the interpretation of because there is a lot of scope for imagination, interpretation and prediction in biology rather than the actual results. For example, Mendel conducted a cross between tall plant and a dwarf plant and he obtained the ratio of 3 to 1. A normal scientist will just publish the results that he obtained a ratio of 3 to 1 which actually does not carry much significance. But what Mendel did was he analyzed the data by using statistical methods and based on the results of his analysis, he could give us the laws of inheritance. And these laws have become the foundation for today's biology. The improvement and development in biotechnology and bioinformatics today is because of the contribution of Mendel and his contribution to the field of genetics. And that was possible because of statistics. So thus, statistics is a very important subject in biology. Not only in biology, in all subjects. Please like, share and subscribe. We'll meet again in the next video with some other topic. Thank you very much.